Okay, so every little tiny X on the map like that is where we last defeated an enemy, so you can help use that to keep oriented if you get turned around a bit. That's the way Hope came in. Is Hope in our party? Hope is in our party! I forgot that we get Hope in our party. Huh. We have Tri Ravagers. Ah, uh, we really need Sass to get that commando slot. Okay, so Rev Rev Med, that's good. Uh, variety, that's not bad. I actually want to start off with a different paradigm, which is Rev Sin Rav Smart Bomb. Because this will let us keep that pesky chain gauge from dropping. Sin Sab I probably want at least one that's like protect medic and whatever so I can heal. Up we go. What enemy awaits us that I cannot see? What do you say? Oh yeah, this is going to go a lot faster. This is going to go so much faster. Oh, it still has like one HP. Dang it. my stream. The internet was doing so good! Ooh, an inerta! I told you, don't bother buying it at the store, because they're in here somewhere. And you're probably gonna get it, like, literally a few minutes later. Okay, so this one has critical shield, so there is air wing for you, which has critical shield, and this one... What the heck? The Nerta sucks. Uh, designed with balanced performance in mind, this boomerang deliberately avoids extreme characteristics of competitor models. You fail. You fail. That It sucks, then. It totally sucks. Because it lowers my strength, it doesn't increase my magic, you know what? I bet this is a challenge weapon. This is absolutely a challenge weapon for late game. I don't know why the heck they give it to us now, but as it is, air wing is actually the better weapon, though I may. Hmm. You know what, hope you have the worst HP and you're gonna need it later, so take the silver bangle. I don't think he's going to stay in our party too long anyways. But he will need the silver bangle later, so might as well give it to him now. Also, something from last time that I realized I said that maybe wasn't of sound mind. Yes, I made fun of Hope for having a boomerang as a weapon. Yes, I realize that boomerangs in real life are weapons. However, can we please acknowledge that that is a dinky plastic piece of crap? And does not qualify. Or should not qualify. Come on, I have frisbees that can concuss people harder than that. Ooh, new enemies! I should probably actually Libra these guys first. Incubus. Uh, just lightning and water again. Wow, everything's weak to lightning and water. I wonder who has those two specific traits and it's going to focus on. Hmm. Hey, 
and yes, in case you haven't noticed, characters' names do correspond to the type of magic they use. Triumph Zester is probably fine now. I just want something with a little bit of healing. So, like, lightning gets lightning, snow gets ice. Hope is technically, um, light, and he gets holy later on. But Neil gets death. Isn't that a... A warship from Pulse. You mean, they made it this far? No, of course not. Not during the war, and not since. They might have tried, but none of their forces made it into Cocoon. They only damaged the Outer Rim. Then, the Sanctum's Foul Sea pushed them back. What, you, uh, sleep through history? <laughs> More or less. So, what's a ship from Pulse doing here? Once the war was over, people couldn't live near the Rim anymore. In places like the Hanging Edge. So the Foul Sea, they gathered up scrap from Pulse and used it for rebuilding here. This is what was left. A bunch of garbage. Who'd have thunk? A Pulse Foul Sea and who knows what mixed in with all the trash. Who'd have thunk? And that's why people have all those abandoned cities. It's because when that damage was done, they had to move. I'm gonna go peek ahead. Do me a favor. Stop wandering off and stay where I can keep my eye on. Anything in here? Don't think so. Ah, I can't go in that one. Check things out. So for Hell on Earth, Pulse does seem to have pretty decent technology from what we see. Could it just be propaganda? Find out more in chapter 11. Yeah, when it's broken, it's no longer halved. There we go. Can we get over there? Yeah, but we gotta go around. I think. How do I? There we go. I can see the jump thingy. Phoenix down. And a metal armband. What does that do? Uh, resists deprotect by 30%, so it helps keep you from having deprotect cast on you by 30%. Oh, shoot. See the one in the back that looks like he has shurikens on him, the succubus? Go for that first. It's weaker, but it also casts status ailments or buffs. And you don't want to deal with that, trust me. for the road, Hope. Thank you. The old guys leave. 
My view count's going all over the place, so I just know the internet's acting up again. God gone it. Okay. Go. My spoils. What are my spoils? A bone. To the victor goes your bones. Just because frequently, um, they'll cast something like protect when the enemy doesn't use physical attacks and it'll waste time when I really need like vigilance or something instead. I hope snow's all right. Okay, good here. Don't hear anything. And there's a possible separation up there, so that being the case, Crystarium. Oh, what do I got? Abilities. I have one on Synergist for Saz. Vigilance, yeah. Boost chain bonus effect for attacking for each ally targeting the same enemy. So if we're all focused on one dude, the chain bonus goes up faster. Two, two. I usually like to go for whatever has abilities still in it. And then work on everything else. Hope has 120 for each. Well, 80, then 120. Different characters have different CP requirements, but yeah, we're pretty close to maxing out our grid again. Hey, nice to see you again. Welcome to the party. You miss us? Huh. Would it kill her to smile? Dang it! You messed up my paradigms again! Stop doing that! Well, so much for that. Alright, what do we got now? Stop messing up my paradigms! I like my paradigms where they're at. Thank you. At least we have a commando now, so I can do commando... Ravager, Saboteur, and do Ruthless. I'll do Ruthless first, and then I'll probably switch to Relentless Assault. I also want a full Rav team. Because that's nice. I also need that Medic down at the bottom. Hope goes back to the back. Because any Hope, any chance Hope gets to not fight, he's going to take it. All right, and Falsifon. Fault Siphon, excuse me, Fault Siphon, <laughs> Falsifon. Words, I just make them up sometimes. Uh, slightly charges the ATB gauge upon attacking targets afflicted with status ailments. So when Vanille casts D-Shell or D-Protect, we will boost the ATB gauge just a little bit in lightning attacks. So her attacks will come a little bit faster. And we get Aqua Strike. It's water, but physical. Is nice. I almost always want a commando in my party just because it keeps the chain gauge from falling. Can we just talk this over? Lightning also has, get this, lightning! Yeah. 
Meaning she can do damage that the enemies are weak to. Enemies. <laughs> I'm tired tonight, guys. So yeah, the real reason it split us up was just to give us tutorial. Tutorial masked his story. Because we weren't separated that long. the enemy sound. I'm like, am I near something? I don't hear items because I'm not near items. Here we go. I feel like this chapter just drags a little bit. Nothing to it. Doing good. I think I got an Aegis all. See, one of these is in here. Sometimes treasure will be in these little nooks that open up. Another Libra scope. I'm getting a lot of Libra scopes. Just need to get through here. Can I sneak up if I go this way? No, I can sneak around if I go this way. I should probably also point out that casting abilities on yourself, such as bravery, faith. Etc. Um, also does boost your chance for boosting the chain gauge. So it does raise faster if you have buffs. Hurry up. Ah yes! The boss fight. What do you suppose that is? Let's poke it. And that's bad for us, isn't it? You have eyes, don't you? So I probably actually want uh, buffs before I want debuffs, which I only have this one, so I guess we'll go with Bully. Oh, I also have Vigilance, but I can't cast both at the same time right now, so I guess I'll stick with. Okay, Faith for Saz and Vanille, and Bravery for Lightning. Probably don't need Vigilance for anybody else, but I do want it on Vanille. Just because she is our healer. And it's using Smart Bomb. I know I have both buffs on it, but I want... Did that not take the buffs off? Steam Clean is supposed to take the buffs off. It didn't take the buffs off. Okay. Oof. I guess we can just go into Relentless Assault after we're healed then. Fine by me. Do I have Triad Disaster? Yes, I do. I'll choose that instead. We're almost close to breaking it. This thing is probably weak to lightning. I'm gonna win anyway, but just out of light and curiosity. No, it's not weak to anything. Ooh, we also lost our deep protect status. Bye. Ah! 
Oh, I think there's a round two to this. But yeah, see Eden up there? I told you, it's more of a moon than it is the sun. It's not floating either, it uh it has a bridge. It's just that the bridge doesn't light up. I'm just gonna get faith and bravery. I'll save vigilance just for Vanille. Because she needs it the most. Wrecking ball! This is where Hope would come in handy, but Hope is probably off in a corner again somewhere. Because reasons. Status element back on. He, he likes being in the corner. Yes, he does. I think if you examine the cutscenes close enough, you'll notice him like running all away. Like in the first one, you could see him like run towards the camera before the boss fight started. I think if you look at this one closely enough, you'll see him like going the opposite direction. Oh, don't hit Saz. Oh god. Uh, it's doing steam clean anyway. I might as well. We're not gonna make that. We might make that! We're not making that! <laughs> but he'll heal me. Heal yourself, actually. You can probably just Rentless Assault. Because they're so close to it being dead and it doesn't matter. Bye bye! Yeah, if I hadn't took that shot to heal, I probably would have done it. The Omni Kit. I forget what that is. And Lenora's Garage. That is another shop. Crystarium expanded. The medic role is now available to Lightning. The commando role is now available to Saz. Pulse is crawling with things like that, isn't it? Got me. Not even the core has access to intel on Pulse. Soldiers in the field fight blind. Yeah, I noticed that. But don't you need to know exactly what you're up against? Target's a target. You like to keep it simple, don't you? I stick to my goal. As long as you have a goal, you can fight? You can stay alive. You can upgrade weapons and accessories at save points using your Omni Kit and various components you collect on your journey. Oh, that's what that is! I couldn't upgrade before. The Omni Kit is what allows us to upgrade our weapons and accessories. I was wondering why I didn't recognize it. First, approach the save station and press X to access it. Then select upgrade from the save station menu to access the workbench. After choosing upgrade, select the weapon or accessory that you wish to improve. Next, you will need to select the type of component you wish to use for the upgrade, as well as the quantity. The combined experience value of the chosen components will then be applied to the target piece of equipment. After enough experience has been spent on a weapon or accessory, its level will increase, improving its abilities and attributes. Certain components bestow a bonus to any experience spent on a piece of equipment. By utilizing these components, you will be able to make more efficient upgrades. I'll explain this better in detail. Likewise, some components reduce an item's experience bonus. Careful consideration is required when deciding which components to employ. Once a particular piece of equipment has reached its maximum potential or max level, its level will be replaced with a star. At this point, no further level advancement is possible, but the item can be transformed into an entirely different one by means of specialized components. And it'll always require like the same components and it always has something specific it goes to, it's not random. 
When this happens, both its name and properties will change. As you can see, Blaze Fire Saver goes to Flame Verge. A newly transformed item may initially seem weaker than it did in its previous form, but unlike its fully upgraded predecessor, it will be eligible for level advancement. Though for, through further upgrades, it could be made even more powerful than its earlier incarnation. Unwanted equipment can be scrapped for parts by selecting Dismantle. Please, dear god, if you're going for the trophy, do not dismantle anything without double checking a guide because you can lock yourself out of that trophy please 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 be smart and look it up first some items that you get are one-time items and you can never buy them back and if you dismantle them you're screwed the equipment itself will be destroyed but you will be able to salvage components some of which can be obtained in no other way yeah, I believe that applies to the elixir item. It's an elixir similar to other Final Fantasy games, but one, the game gives you one as a freebie, and two, you really, really do not need it. You need it for like one super boss, and that is it. Don't bother. There exists well over 100 different components. Of, yeah, I know. <laughs> Obtain as many as possible and experiment with their efforts in order to determine the most efficient and effective ways to customize your arsenal. Okay, do we even have a save point that I can show this off? I'll show it off at the next save point. Remind me to show it off at the next save point if I forget. Was there anything else down there? I gotta look. No, there was not. Probably gonna give me a long hallway mast as a loading screen, maybe a cutscene, and then we'll be on our merry way again. Scout ahead. Yeah, it's gonna do that. Okay, so you really do not need to upgrade anything right now. It is actually better if you don't because otherwise you're going to be wasting money on inferior equipment and you're going to have to spend a lot more time leveling up the things you really want to use later on. So I'll give this tutorial now, but if you want my personal opinion, wait to touch anything because we get better stuff later on. So if you want to level up something actually if you want to level up something right now focus more on accessories don't bother with weapons all of our weapons kind of suck right now i really wouldn't care for any of these in the long run i'm gonna abandon all of these well if i level them up for the trophy that's one thing but i'm not gonna use them as soon as i get something else so something like an iron bangle an iron bangle once you completely level it up and use a material on it, it'll turn into a silver bangle, stuff like that. So, what's a good example? I have a spark ring and a black belt. So, I'll just pretend with this one. Square to sort. I recommend you do that. That way, it will put your items in an order that is easier to understand. Now, first things first. You see how there are ones that have like this little X looking thing, and there are screws, and there are little nuggets. So we have fangs, screws, and nuggets. You want to use things like the fangs first because that will increase the multiplier in which you gain experience. These do not grant very much experience. I see so many people mess this up. These are not for experience points. These are to increase the percentage at which you gain experience points. Then once you have a multiplier of either two or three, because it will go up over time, depending on how many you use. If you don't get one yet, just keep using more. Once you have a multiplier of two or three, use basically as many of the screw items as you can, and these will give you experience. So as you can see, like a thickened hide only gives me like 19 experience. It's not for experience, whereas a passive detector will give me 300. Don't use credit chips. These, if they have an experience of one, that means it's to be sold for money. Once you max out a level on the weapon or accessory, you will be able to use a nugget as a catalyst for transforming it into something else. I only have a millerite right now. Each thing requires a specific 
nugget. So once it's maxed out, I won't be able to go like, oh, one nugget will turn it into one thing or one another. No, they all have set criteria and you can look them up. So do I really wanna work on anything right now? Not really. I just, I really don't wanna waste it right now. <laughs> but I can go into more detail later on when it's actually useful. But fangs first to multiplier of two or three Screws next, it will cause the multiplier to go down, just use more fangs, and then transform it. If you want to. Don't dismantle anything. Don't do it. <sighs> Not much of a future for us, huh? Hard to picture a happy ending. We don't even know where to go. I do. Huh? There. Eden? The sanctum seat of power. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Just charge right in there. Give him a taste of the sea terror. But you're serious. Keep running. It's die or turn seat. There's no place for Lassie to hide. No. They want to fight. Let's take it to the Sanctum's door. This isn't a game. No, that's for damn sure. Started with Sarah, the Falsi took her. Now I'm Alyssi too. And the Sanctum's hunting me, an enemy of the state. But who's pulling their strings? A Falsi. Eden, cocoon sustainer and guiding light. It probably ordered the purge, too. Pulse and Sanctum Falci, they're all the same. And we're all the same to them, expendable. I'm not dying a Falci slave. So, what are you gonna do? Destroy it. By yourself? What, are you crazy? Say you pull it off, hmm? What's that get you? Satisfaction? Something happens to Eden, it's lights out, cocoon. You want that? You're a pulseless sea now. You just want to snuff out cocoon. No! What about Sarah? She said to save cocoon. It might even be our focus to make sure cocoon. Our focus doesn't matter. I don't take orders from Foul C. How I live is up to me. Don't you mean how you die? Think like that, and it's already over. Better to pick your path and keep moving. Don't worry. I'm after the Sanctum. I'm not out to destroy the world. If it did come to that, <laughs> wonder if our hero would try to stop me. You want to fight Snow now? Just like that and your enemies? Next time we meet, we might be too. When the fear sank in, it tore us all apart. Lightning was suffering, reaching out to us, but none of us could see it. Snow deserves it. <sighs> if only I'd been stronger, none of this ever would have happened. I don't know what I should do. That makes two of us. <laughs> oh, careful. You're taking care of me. Well, it won't be if you keep pushing me like that. It should also be pointed out that Eden keeps Wait Cocoon afloat. So if we do take out Eden, this whole thing's gonna drop out of the sky. I'm going with you. I can't babysit you anymore. I can fight. I'm not afraid. <sighs> oh, look, they caught up to us. Great. A Psycom hit squad. <sighs> oh, look, we can't go back. <sighs> Plot barrier. <sighs> Convenient plot barrier. 
ruined my paradigms again. Hope's <laughs> coming out of the corner for revenge. Oh, jeez. Oh god, these paradigms. These paradigms suck. Oh god. Oh. Oh, we need a barrier. Fire thunder? Oh no. They can bar my magic. Oh no. They have shields against lightning. It's probably also medic really quick. Oh god, these paradigms. Hope comes out of the corner for misplaced aggression. Lightning. It, it is a little misplaced. Like, okay, I understand she wants to destroy the Falci out of revenge, but at the same time, if you destroy the Falci in Eden, we all die. So it's kind of a conundrum. Like, she wants to overthrow the government, but at the same time, if we do, we're screwed. Not because that. they literally keep us alive. Really? Thanks. Not just a figurehead. Kind of like if we killed Phoenix, we'd have no sun. Uh oh, army's out to play. You just stand there and watch. What now? I mean, I mean, we could stay here, but shouldn't we? Run? Huh? We should run. If we rush in now, we'll just get in her way. You know, you're right. I guess. I mean, it's not like lightning needs any help. Just admit you don't want to get caught. And we after that outburst, soldiers. you don't feel like saving her. We should keep moving. Lightning? Are you worried about the others? I'm sure they got away okay. So can you if you leave now. With me, it'll be fight after fight. I don't know how it'll end. It's anybody's guess. I know that. But I need to be stronger. Lightning. Call me Light. What's the plan from here? Through the gap or Whitewood to Palampolum. We'll find transport to Eden. I live in Palampolum. I can show you all the shortcuts. No side trips. No need. I don't think Lassie are welcome at home. 